folks, Krusty Old Marine with you. I get a lot of messages about uh, a lot of you guys wanting follow-up videos on some of the stuff I review, some of the stuff I talk about. I haven't been real good about them. Uh, I do have, a, I know at least two or three that I, I have planned to do follow-up videos, but I haven't done them. Uh, I guess I get kind of lazy. I'm looking to do the new stuff uh, first. But anyway, today I was getting some more competition brass ready for service rifle uh, at the annealing phase right now. And uh, I thought I'd give a follow-up on the DIY brass annealer. This thing has been working great. Um, I'm going to say that I've probably annealed 1,500 rounds with it, something like that. And uh, it's just been working fantastic. Uh, still working on the same first coil that I had for the uh, service rifle brass. It's looking a little rougher now, but uh, and all that brass hasn't been uh, competition. Uh, service rifle stuff. A lot of it's been uh, six five Creedmoor, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to turn the lights off here, and we'll go through uh, annealing a few trays. Uh, I got 13 on a tray here, and I think I do. I think I got 13. I don't know. Maybe my math ain't that good, but yeah, I got 13. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and five is 10, 11, 12, 13, and you can see how quick that I. Uh, get through a tray of 13 and you'll see some of the I'm not going to say they're issues that I have with the uh, annealer but uh, just uh, nuances I guess that you have to work around so uh, turn the lights out here and switch the camera around and we'll take a look at this so that looks like it's uh that looks like it's picking up pretty good you can hear the thing cycling all on and off in the background that's just the fan it doesn't again it doesn't come on unless I press this red button right here uh, and when that's pressed, you can see the light come on. Now, one thing that I have found, like after doing one tray, um, on, the, on the first one that I do, I really need to like hold it on like this when it cycles on and let it go through one cycle to heat up. Otherwise, this one gets a little cool. Another thing I've noticed is sometimes, let me turn that off for just a second. Sometimes you'll get a difference in the uh, brass and one of them will get hotter than the other uh, quicker. Uh, I've got it running right now. Um, I've got it running for 1.8 seconds on and five seconds off, I think it is. But uh, if, if they start to get a little bit hot, you have to tell by the look of it. And after you do a few hundred of them, you kind of get the idea. But I just, I just pulled the annealer off of it a little quicker. And if they're cool, I will put the annealer back on it and just do a partial, but I'm going almost exclusively by my sight, you know, how, how orange does it get and how quick does it get that orange. So anyway, let's do a few here and see how this goes. So I'm going to let, let it go through one. So it should be heated up well for that first one. Now see that one was still just a little bit cool. I'm going to stay on it for another half cycle. That was perfect right there. This one should be good. Yeah, might have been a touch on the cool side. That looked pretty decent. Maybe just a touch cool. That one was a bit warmer. Now, one of the things that uh, affects this, too, is how far up and down the shoulder I go with where I place the coils. I try to get the top of the coils at about the top of the round. Um, you know, you're looking at it from the top, so you're not always 100% on it. Um, and I, I look through it, and I've got just a slight margin around to see the shell. Now this one will probably be a little cool. No, that one's perfect. That one was a little cool. And you see, it just took a minute, just a about half a second back on it. That one was perfect. I really like this aluminum uh, loading block. It does 
a great job as a heat sink and I don't melt any of the plastic ones. <clears throat> and I've kind of jacked this up here because I'm trying to talk to you guys and uh, do this at the same time and you haven't got a real feel of really how, how quick this goes. I don't remember, ooh, that's a little hot. Um, I don't remember what number tray I'm on. It's, I don't know, it's about 12. I've got about 250 rounds here. Let me load one, load a tray up and uh, I'll try to not run my mouth so much and we'll just go through there and you can see how quick it is. And if I had little spider monkey hands, I could probably load this tray a lot faster too, but I got big old fat fingers. So here we go. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if you can see the uh, color on these as we're doing them. That one was a little cool. I'm going to hit it just a little bit again. I hope I haven't moved this out of the frame. No, it's still good. Uh, again, that one was a little bit cool. I'm going to hit it just a wee bit more. That one was probably just a touch warm. That one was good. And let's do another one just so you can get an idea of the speed of this. So um, I'm not finding out, I'm not running the fan at all anymore either because with the cycle times I've got, and then the time it takes to load a tray, um, I have, I don't know, I, I've done some of these like 500 and, you know, in one sitting, and this thing has not overheated at all. Another one here. Now, I didn't pre-warm the coil. That worked good that time. a touch on the cool side like i said a lot of it's got to do with how far down the shoulder you let that bottom i'm gonna hit that one again you let that bottom coil go oh that one got a little warm it'll be all right though Cool. I need to let that go down the shoulder just a little further. Uh. I'm going to shut that off, dump that, and turn the lights back on. 
So anyway, you got to, got a chance to see how it's working uh, after hundreds and hundreds of rounds. Uh, like I said, I think around 1,500-ish. But the uh, thing works great. Uh, it's not an amp perfect annealer. Uh, it ain't cost me $2,000 either. And I like it a whole lot better than the annealies I've got that I have to use the torch with because, you know, inside the house here, I'm not going to use the torch. And I got uh, all my powders and stuff over there, primers over here. So uh, using a torch up here is not a great idea. Anyway, um, loving the thing and hadn't had any issues out of it. And we're just going to keep rolling with it. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, share the videos. And remember, kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. We'll catch you next time.